three minutes from the end seem rough justice. There is no argument about the result at Anfield, however. Win. And it was the entrance of Ronnie Rosenthal as a partner to Ian Rush, an attack that made the difference against Middlesbrough. Not that you really need a striking partner with compulsive back passes still inhabiting Premier defences. Rosenthal is a bit of a loner as a player. Ian Rush, then Picnic, almost adding to Burroughs' woes here. Way. He's as direct as he's pacey. Maybe not always altogether sure what he's going to do, so what chance of defenders and goalkeepers got. Two in the first 40 minutes set the tone at Anfield last Saturday. Middlesbrough, without a win in two months now, we're back in the game briefly on the back of some neat approach play by Proctor and Hendry and another of those impossible calls for referees. How many of those do we argue over in the course of a season? Mike Hooper penalised and then beaten by Jimmy Phillips' penalty, but only just. If Liverpool's casualty list has made them a little more vulnerable than of old, the old spirit seems to be returning and they were 3-1 up and virtually home and dry by half-time. It's been a good week for Steve McManaman. The crucial goal against Barrow last weekend, followed by two more against Sheffield United in the midweek cup replay. The headline goal last Saturday was the final goal, scored in the final minute by Liverpool's most prolific goal scorer. Ian Rush seems to find a new milestone every time he finds the net this season. Paul Stewart's cross nodded in for the 200th league goal of Rush's dead-eyed career.